what you're looking at is a mess. But believe it or not, there is a method to the madness pictured before you. Everything, and I mean everything, is tied together by digital technology. Meaning everything here somehow relates to ones and zeros at the end of the day. I suppose I'm just going to pick a spot and just go clockwise around and see what happens. So let's go ahead and we'll start right at hardware. The physical components of your digital device. The pieces you can touch and feel. It's the circuit boards and wiring inside your phone or inside your computer. Think of the graphics card or if you're lucky enough, the liquid cooling system. All of that stuff is the hardware. Software, on the other hand, is the digital bits that first happen at the operating system level, which brings me to our next section. Popular examples of operating systems for computers are ones we all know. You got Windows, Mac, and Linux, of course. And if you're using a smartphone, it's usually just a choice between iOS or Android. I know there's loads more, but there's just no time. I have to keep moving. I do want to point out, though, that operating systems perform a variety of basic tasks that we all take for granted. I mean, if you're on a computer right now, it's doing all kinds of stuff that you just expect. And one of them is networking. So you wouldn't even have this video if it wasn't for that feature. And with that, we rotate. Networking is obviously a big field. Everyone knows the massive network of networks called the internet. We can browse the web, partake in telepresence using Zoom, compute on the edge with 5G, create an internet of things with a bunch of gadgets. And you could even go beyond the internet. You could just keep going to a more anonymous dark web. But either way, any digital network you use it's essentially like a bunch of telegraphs sending Morse code to one another. Only it's it's much more complicated sequences of binary ones and zeros. Just just a little bit more complicated. We are able to manage these bits of information with coding, which is essentially the translator between humans and purely digital information. Our soldiers in this field are coders, and they have a wide range of programming languages available from the very non-natural machine code all the way to simple Lego piece looking blocks of code that kids can use with things like Scratch. But somewhere in between, you have the popular languages like Java, Python, and PHP. You can think of sort of the next level computer programmer as a hacker who is essentially exploiting code for testing and or malicious purposes. And there's there's a whole entire cybersecurity field dedicated to keeping our code safe from these hackers, at least the malicious ones. And I guess there's no better time to point out that code extends beyond our standard computers. For example, if you put code on a traditional machine like a vacuum cleaner, you would then have a robot. Or in that particular case, you'd have a Roomba. In a different but related way, if regular code becomes complex enough, it can even begin to start to understand its own environment. And you put these two ideas together, and you have yourself a Terminator, which brings me to the field of artificial intelligence, or AI, which provides us with smart assistance using machine learning, facial recognition, deep fake videos that use deep learning, and eventually, AI is going to reach the level of the human brain. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's just simply look at the vanilla human brains that are building all of this software right now. Or I should say, developing all of this software. We move on to development, which there are many, many pieces of development. Coding is just one of them. And... To break down the field of development, I, I broke it into three major branches. The first being web development, which consists of making online content, whether it is web apps or web pages. There's a wide range of jobs one can do in this field, from the front-end design of a site using a so-called WYSIWYG like Wix, or content management system like WordPress, 
all the way to developing the backend data structure of a server with a language like SQL, which totally sounds like a ton of fun. The point of it all is usually some version of information exchange. Think about it. A social media network is kind of like sharing information between friends. And, of course, it's easy to understand how Wikipedia is for sharing information with users. But even buying something off of Amazon is sort of like an information exchange. In practice, Amazon is more of a tool than anything else. And there's plenty of tools out there. They come in all shapes and sizes. They come online and offline. You can buy or sell from an e-commerce site, use Google to search pages, write documents with Word, organize music on iTunes, watch videos on VLC, and so on. And you can see that we've already started to move into our second branch of development, which is app development. Now, to, to develop apps, usually a person or team uses what's called an integrated development environment, or IDE, but there's many different options for creating apps. And if the app created turns out to be really, really fun, then it has probably crossed over into our third branch, that of game development. And in that particular case, the developer is probably using a game engine like Unity to do it. Video games are fun, and they're very entertaining. So we're just going to keep moving. I know I'm flying through all these branches here, but we're moving into the entertainment field which I broke into two parts, interactive, where the user is actively partaking in the gamer tool, and streaming, which represents audio content like Pandora, video content like Netflix, or even gaming content like Stadia now, all streaming to your digital device. And the artists who provide this sort of content are creative. But to be fair, creativity is involved in pretty much all of these branches that I'm talking about. But I did want to highlight how there's a specific creative design world that exists in the digital technology world, and it is tied to the idea of design. So we'll start off with the idea of image manipulation, where you could partake in raster photo editing with Photoshop or something like vector graphic design with Illustrator. The next level, I suppose, would be if you took a bunch of these images and put them in a sequence and have yourself an animation, which is, of course, when graphics give the illusion of movement. You have stop motion, frame by frame, vector, rotoscope, like the movie Waking Life. But, but these animation styles assume two dimensions, and I want to go one more, which brings me to 3D design. 3D design covers many fields, from 3D printing and video game graphics to physics simulations, visual effects, and CGI like Toy Story. And obviously, Toy Story moves us into the audio-video world, because how else are you going to experience that masterpiece? Video is obviously a massive field, and we have many different software tools available to edit video and do other video tasks. Now, a lot of these videos that are created feature audio, but the field of audio spans much beyond the world of video, of course, because someone could edit a track with Audacity, they could design sounds with a program like BFXer, or they could make music with a digital audio workstation like GarageBand. But if you wanted to go the next step, and say you wanted to record your analog electric guitar instrument, into your digital device, you're going to need some sort of digital equipment to do that. With this very elegant transition, we move over to equipment. This includes items like your, you know, the mouse on your computer, the keyboard, your Kindle e-reader, uh, something like a USB stick, or even something as advanced as a virtual reality headset or an augmented reality headset. These add-ons and accessories are not necessarily full-fledged computer systems, even though they are still technically digital hardware. And with that, we've made it full circle, all the way back to the beginning. <sighs> it feels good. I will have this map available to you, so check the description if you want it. And I think that's enough for right now. So until next time, have a good one.